What's up, Peak Timers? Welcome to today's live stream. If you're watching this after it's gone live, we are unboxing a ton of different Hot Wheels cars, so stay tuned. I will wait for some of you guys to join on if you're uh, just joining on. And I've got a bunch of really cool Hot Wheels, and because I don't do a lot of daily videos of different uh, single review unboxings, uh, I've decided, you know what, let's just unbox a bunch of Hot Wheels cars all together here. So I've got, uh, I don't know, I have probably 50-ish cars or so. Uh, what's up everyone, thanks for joining. I see a lot of comments and stuff from you guys, and uh, I'm here to answer any questions and stuff for you guys as well. Um, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start unboxing uh, Hot Wheels. Uh, so uh, I'll just kind of grab a couple random ones here. We'll put them aside. So first one we've got is this 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And like I said, I've, I've just got so many cars that I've just kind of had sitting here waiting to get unboxed. So I thought, you know what, let's just uh, do a live stream. I can talk with you guys and we can unbox some cars. So 1970 Ford Mustang, nice yellow color with the red striping on it. We've got the hood uh, kind of, de what is this uh, thing called here? Um, we've got there. Uh, what's up, James? What's up, uh, Master Police Speech, uh, Dodge Overlord? We've got lots of lots of guys on here. Um, throw this video a like. I appreciate you guys liking my videos. Kind of helps me out, and uh, you know what gets the word out there. So next one we've got. Uh, this one I've had sitting here for quite some time, and this is called the So Fast. What's up, Germany? How's it going, McLaren lover, Cyrus, Daniel? How's it going? All right, so there we go. We've got. Uh, what was this one called? So fast. Sorry, I have to look at the packaging here again. The so fast. And this one is kind of like some sort of hot rod type of thing. And I do have some cars here that I want to race down the track. So we'll be doing some track videos. Oh, this one does open up too. Oh, crazy. This thing comes apart. Or did I just break it? Maybe it does come apart. I have no idea. But check out that engine in there. That is crazy. What's up, guys? How's it going? Thanks, everyone, again, for joining. We're just uh, we're taking apart a bunch of cars. We're unboxing Hot Wheels today. I don't know. Yeah, I guess this one does snap back on and forth. That is really cool. Though. I have not seen something like that. So that's definitely something unique and new. Uh, I don't think it's broken. I don't think it's broken. But uh, we'll put that one down. Uh, we'll grab another one up here. We've got a Mercedes C-Class. And uh, this one they made in definitely a lot of different colors and stuff. But uh, let's open it up. I do not play Fortnite at the moment, but it definitely might be something I will be starting in the future. Uh, there we go. We've got the C-Class Mercedes. Check out these wheels. I like these wheels. The big Hot Wheels logo on there. And we've got uh, the big spoiler on there. And this one, I don't know what you would call this color. It's hard to see my lights. It's kind of like a sparkly maroon color. And there we go. Pretty neat. It's our third car. Uh, let's grab something else uh, different here. What do we got here? This one is a 2004 car, and this one is called the Cruise Osenberg. That is really weird looking. Whew. Wow. Okay, let's open this one up. I don't know what to say about this. This one looks like it belongs, uh, it's at, what, what is it? Coella de Ville car from 101 Dalmatians. Kind of looks like that type of car. Check out that rear end. Like even look at the bottom of this, like how they've got these, this metal that kind of comes out from the bottom. And then we've got the nice big engine in there as well. Oh, uh, wow, this is crazy. This, it's even plastic right here, which you can see it's kind of wiggly. It's not uh, the best of quality. This is a 2004 car, so I don't see them making as many like plastic sidings on cars anymore. Pretty neat. All right, guys, uh, any questions or anything, holler at me on the comments. Uh, and this one, oh, you want to know how we spell that last car? Here, let's, uh, let's go back. And this one is Cruz Ozenberg. So the last is, yeah, you can see it right there if you want. Uh, Daniel Hot Wheels Cars, what's up? Uh, McLaren Lover, what's up? All right, next one, we've got the Custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. What's up, Turkey? And Kathy, Kathel, thank you very much. Exotic Diecast Garage, here we go. 
Uh, do do double upload. So this is technically my double upload for today since this is the second video. What's up? Uh, boost upgrade. This is an Integra GSR with the skull on the top of it. I like these wheels on there. It's kind of a unique looking one. They've released a, a lot of different variations and colors of this GSR recently. What's up, Alex? Acrylic Gaming, Mad Wolf, Ray, T Ray, Ray TV. How's it going, everyone? Uh, next one, we've got a Cloak and Dagger, and this is from the Checkmate series, the Bishop from the Checkmate series. Um, we got we got a variety of different cards today, guys. So stay tuned. There's there's a there's a bunch of different ones. There's a lot of weird ones, a lot of cool fantasy cars, a lot of real cars. So there is the Bishop right there. And you can see the Bishop little logo on the side right there. And what do we have on the bottom? It's kind of like a see-through green color. That's interesting. We don't really see that very often. Uh, the Nightburners. I know a lot of you guys are saying that the Mitsubishi from the Nightburners is fast. It did win the race. Um, we're going to have to put it up against the Cadillac. I've got a video upcoming where I want to put up a lot of cars against the Cadillac because I feel... Uh, you guys think the Cadillac, the champ, can be beat. Um, it's hard to say. I don't know if it's going to be able to be beat or not. All right, what do we got here? We've got a 69 Dodge Charger 500. Uh, there we go. Look at that green color. All right, let's open it up. All right, and there it is. And we've got Dodge Hot Wheels logo on the side, some nice white tampa work on the top right there. Very cool looking. Look at the back, the drag car. And you know what, I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit here. I'm gonna put this down. You guys are asking about the cars in the background, so I'll show you this view so you guys can see the cars in the back right there. There you go. So if you guys wanna see any more of those cars uh, closer up, we'll do that in a bit. Uh, let's grab another one. We've got a Co custom Corvette. And actually, you know what? I'm going to have to move my camera down a little bit so I can read your guys' comments. It's hard to see what you guys are exactly saying, so we'll have to move it down a little bit like that. There we go. Custom Corvette. Let's go ahead and open up the Custom Corvette. And this one is a little bit older, and I don't even notice there's stuff on the top of this one, so that's pretty neat. So what do we have up here? We've got Confidential, and it's got some weird like building with arrows and Hot Wheels Secret Service, I guess that's what it says. That is weird, wow. Okay, I don't even notice that, but different. And this one has, uh, these wheels originally came off of a Dodge Viper. These are kind of like a copy of the stock Dodge Viper wheels in real life. And they were pretty popular uh, by Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels made a lot of cars with them on there. All right, we'll put that one down and let's grab something completely different. How about this? We've got the HW450F, and this one is some sort of like dirt bike. And what is the orange truck looking vehicle middle right? Uh, we will do that one next. I know which one. I know which one you're asking about. All right, there we go. The H. This one, like, I don't know why they make these weird like dirt bikey things. Um, I guess people do buy them, and it's. I mean, if you're a dirt bike fan, I don't know if you're buying Hot Wheels, but they always have to come out with these weird Hot Wheels cars and kind of add them in. I think it's kind of neat. It's kind of cool. Um, I am from Vancouver, Canada, if you guys are wondering. I am Canadian. So the next one you wanted, the orange truck in the middle with the orange base, and that one is the tank truck. There you go. So this one says Unical on there, 76, and it's like a gas tanker truck, I guess you could say. So let's open it up. All right, we'll open that one up. And there it is, Unical, 76, the orange tanker truck. You can see right there. It's very chrome, like it's very bright in my lights. Wow, that is kind of weird. Um, if you guys are on this video, you haven't thrown a like, throw this video a like for me. I appreciate it. 69 Corvette is next. There it is. And we'll open this one up. And I will have a giveaway coming up soon, guys. So stay tuned, not on this video, but uh, I do have a giveaway in the works. 
and there it is, the 69 Corvette. We've seen this one as a mystery car. We've seen this one in uh, five packs, 10 packs, multi-packs. It's been a popular casting, but I think it's a fantastic looking casting, the 69 Corvette. Definitely a cool looking car. What's up, Dustin? What's up, everyone? And let's go on to something, something else unique here. We've got a 77 custom Dodge van. Wow, that, like, could you get any more flames on? Look at the inside of this too. Okay, let's open this up. And let's see what the inside of this one looks like. I'll throw this down. And there we go, we've got the flamed out van. Wow, that's some crazy work. All right, and then on the top right there, we've got all these little seats and stuff inside of it. Check out that. It's got a, a looks like, what, a, like a fire extinguisher. It's got, oh, two of them. Maybe there's one on each side. We've got uh, four seats in there. We've got the steering wheel. This thing looks advanced. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like this one. I like the gold trim there, too, on the front of it. All right, what should we do next? Let's, uh, let's grab something over here. We've got a custom 15 Ford Mustang, 2015 Ford Mustang. There it is. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Is there any drag cars? I think I did have a drag Mustang. Oh wait, no, there is a drag car. I see a drag car next. It's probably not a car that you would think is gonna be a drag car, but there is the custom Ford Mustang. It's kind of a weird color, the number eight on it. I like these wheels though. These wheels look really cool. Custom wheels on there. Thanks for the likes, everyone. I appreciate it. Look at that. Wow, that is crazy looking. Okay, we'll throw that one down. And I've got the uh, a drag car up next. And you would never think that this would be a drag car, but we have got the Ford Focus drag car. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, I don't know if there's any supercars in this. We'll have to see. Maybe there is a supercar too. I'll show you guys some supercars in a bit. There it is, the Ford Focus drag car with the biggest wing I have ever seen on a Hot Wheels car. That is just crazy. And this thing is definitely not a drag car for the Hot Wheels track. It's like way too low. It gets like all stuck and stuff on the Hot Wheels track, but that is crazy. And this is a Meguiar's car, the popular uh, car cleaning company with all the little car cleaning gadgets. All right, we'll throw that one down. And how about this? The bump around the Hot Wheels bumper car. That is crazy. All right, let's open this one up. The bumper car. And this one, you can even see it's got that the, that weird thing on the top where you actually use to, to power the bumper car. It's like all the old bumper cars used to have. I don't know if bumper cars nowadays have that. I haven't been to a fair lately to to see bumper cars. And I don't know if they still have this. I'm sure they've got some more higher tech electric bumper cars of some sorts now. So gold wheels on this one. It's got this weird, the plastic bumper stuff all around it. But eh, kind of interesting. All right, uh, let's do this one next. We've got a Dodge Ram 1500. This is a big car. Wow, this is crazy. Uh, all right, let's open this up. A lot of you guys are thanking me for the stream time. I know I, have, I haven't I have done a stream time. Um, for me, it's a Friday afternoon, 12.44, where I am right now. But uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit different time when I usually do streams. There is the Skyjacker suspension, it says. Dodge Ram, big Dodge Ram. There we go, check it out. Check out that big opening in the back right there. This thing is ginormous. Let's uh, let's take like one of the smaller cars we've unboxed today. How about the one of the first ones that we did with that weird opening thing? Check out how big the RAM is compared to that. That's crazy. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, we'll put the Dodge RAM down there. And oh, we got a Ferrari. I didn't even notice we've got a Ferrari 348, a black one. And this one, remember I mentioned these Viper wheels that we had? So there are those uh, Viper wheels that we got on there. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Uh, there might be some Fords in here. I know you guys, there's a lot of Ford fans, a lot of Hot Wheels Ford fans I've noticed. 
Um, but there it is, the blacked out Ferrari 348. Um, interesting fact, I have only driven one Ferrari in my whole lifetime. Um, probably about 10 years ago, I drove a Ferrari and it was a Ferrari 348 Spider. This is a 348, it looks like a TB, but uh, they're very cool cars. There we go. Awesome, awesome. All right, we'll throw this one down. And what do we got here? Let's grab something something else interesting. This is a tuned out Toyota Supra. So this one we've seen go down the track, a, a different color variation of this one I've seen go down the track and it's uh, actually quite fast. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Silver variation. Uh, there we go. Daniel Hot Wheels cars. My dad has a Lamborghini Huracan. Huracan in real life or Huracan in Hot Wheels format. There it is. Gold wheels, silver, and all the weird sort of <laughs> the, the quote unquote ricer stickers, I would have to call them. <laughs> all right. There it is. Uh, we've probably got about 30 cars or so left. And actually, you know what? I want to grab these ones over here. And we've got four different color variations of the Chrysler 300C Hemi. And uh, I originally got these ones, I got, I actually purchased them from somebody from Florida. So uh, let's, I'm actually just gonna quickly open all these all together and then we can get a look at all the different color variations of the 300C. And these particular wheels are the same wheels that are on the Cadillac the Champ car. So uh, I'm actually gonna have to race maybe do a race between all these cars against Cadillac the Champ. I'll just go ahead and open up. This one's very unique. This is a, a gold one. So let's go ahead, we'll get all these 300 Cs open. I'll put them all in my hand right here and we can kind of get a close up look at them. So uh, the gold, there is a gold with the gold wheels. That is crazy, gold with gold wheels. And then we've got uh, silver with the silver wheels. These are chromed though. This is a completely chromed out car. Then we got black with the uh, chromed out silver chrome wheels. Chrome interior too, I guess. All of them have that silver chrome interior. And then we got this one's probably the most different one of all of them. This one is, uh, what is kind of like a red color. And this one says Hemi on the top of it, which none of the other ones do. And this one has the same silver chrome wheels, but this one does have a black interior. So there we go. So we got four different color variations of the Chrysler 300C. And wow, that golden one. Uh, I think this one is probably one of the craziest cars we've opened so far today. The gold Chrysler 300C. And I honestly don't know what type of value this has, but you know what, for me, it's just fun to open up. I don't really care about the value. All right, we'll throw those ones down. Uh, what do we have up here? We've got a, another Mustang Mach 1. Um, give me a sec, guys. When I'm done unboxing these cars, I'll show you some of the cars in the background. I, I know you guys are, you got, most of you guys are more supercar fans and hypercar fans than anything. So I'll show you some of those ones that I have in the back uh, once we're done this uh, unboxing all of these cars here. So let's open up this uh, Mustang. This Mustang Mach 1 doesn't specify the year or anything like this. It looks probably like a 69 Mustang. It looks very similar to the same one that we opened before. So yeah, this one I think was a 69. So there we go. So we've got two different Mustang variations that we've opened up today for the 69 Mustangs. Uh, both very similar, maybe slightly different on the grill, but still cool. I like these wheels, the silver wheels, silver and silver, very cool. All right, throw that one aside. And ooh, we've got this one. This is like a monster truck Corvette. Check out the giant wheels. Wow, that is, that, that's just crazy. Okay, let's open up this one. And this one, oh, I didn't even notice, but this one has a matte finish paint job on it. That's interesting. Wow, this is a very unique one. I have not seen one like this for a while, but uh, so this is a Corvette monster truck or raised up with the crazy nice looking matte finish job on there. There we go. Cool, cool. Um, sorry guys, if you have any questions, I'll answer. I'm kind of rambling on with opening up all these cars. And uh, next one, we've got the Sandivar. This is some sort of uh, fantasy car. So let's go ahead and open up this one here. And this one with the white wheels. And this one looks like some sort of weird sand 
car, got a big engine in the back. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't really open up a lot of fantasy cars, but uh, this one says G8 on it. If you guys know anything else about this car, throw some comments down below. We'll put that one aside. And what else do we have? I'll, I'll kind of throw these all together here. Let's pick something else out that's unique that we haven't really opened up today. How about a bone shaker? There we go. We've got the Baja Bone Shaker. Uh, I don't know if the chat is delayed or not. Some of you guys are saying the chat's delayed. A supercar addict, what's up? What's up, K Wade? And Baja Bone Shaker. Let's go ahead and open up Baja Bone Shaker. And uh, they've made this one in several different colors. Is the Hot Wheels Ferrari F40 a rare car? Um, in my opinion, no, it's not. They're quite common. They've made a lot of different color variations of the F40. So I don't think it's actually that rare. Good question though. Uh, Rival Racer, yes, Instagram messaged me. You probably got my reply to the comments. Um, send me an Instagram message. I was actually trying to find your Instagram, couldn't find it. So uh, Instagram message me, we'll work it out. And next one, we got a 69 Dodge Charger 500. Open up the Bugatti. The Bugattis are already all open. Like I said, if you guys are just joined on, I will show you a lot of cars in the background um, before this stream is over. We'll just open up all these cars first. We're getting close to the end of it. Dodge Charger 69 500. Found the Tesla Model X and start with no base, just body interior. Um, is it worth anything? Uh, it depends. Uh, there's a lot of guys that collect the air cars and sometimes they will pay them. But I mean, any new air car, you're probably looking around the $10 mark. Uh, Audi R8 Matchbox version, I do, I think I have one. Uh, show the McLaren on the top right. Uh, yes, I'll, like I said, guys, I'll show you the McLarens in the background, cars in the background. Yeah, errors are probably worth around the $10 mark for any new error. There's the 69 Dodge Charger. I think we opened up one of these ones before, did we not? Yes, we did. Here, this one right here we opened up. Looks like a green one. So we've got two different color variations that we have opened up of it. I think these ones are fairly newer castings. There we go. Next giveaway will be uh, coming up within the next week. Uh, we've got another giveaway coming up. I've got some cars to give away, some, uh, some stuff. What's up, uh, Kathal from Ireland? Thank you. Daniel, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. See you later. Uh, we'll open up a twin mill. Uh, Arta guys, see ya, car lover. Hey, what's up? Uh, twin mill, this is a new color variation. What's up, creep players? Uh, creeper players. Uh, all right, let's open it up. Uh, Social media things do I have? I am on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. It's uh, at Peak Time Racing. So if you guys don't follow, follow on there. I'm posting a lot more on there. And you know what? I'm gonna incorporate the giveaway through my social media. So definitely follow me on uh, social media. There'll be links. There should be links in this video below. So check out the the links in the description. There we go. Twin mill, the double engine car, very popular casting in this one. The engines are kind of loose, but you can see how they're connected here. Uh, I do not have Snapchat, unfortunately. Uh, this is not an actual real car. In real actually, you know what? I, correct me. I, I'm wrong. They've actually made this car, the Twin Mills, in real life. So, But they've actually, interesting enough, they've made, they've done the reverse way. They've actually made it after a Hot Wheels car as opposed to Hot Wheels making the real life cars. Uh, all right, let's open up uh, this this one. This is the Blastus Moto. This is another weird fantasy car. What's up, Exo Diecast Garage? And Hot Lion Moose HD. How's it going, guys? Thanks for joining. There we go. Check it out. Do I like the McLaren P1? Definitely. Did they drive it? Yes, they did. They drove that fantasy car, so it was a real-life uh, car. How many cars do I have? I honestly have never counted. It's in the thousands. Uh, what a, how old am I? I am, uh, I am, I'm in my thirties. So, but I've been a Hot Wheels collector my whole life. So Hot Wheels, I don't put any age on. Um, you can collect Hot Wheels, whether you're three years old or you're 90 years old. So, uh, thanks for following me on Facebook. Appreciate it. Group of players. Uh, all right, there we go. So there's this one right here. Blastus Moto three wheeler, kind of an interesting car. All right, well, getting getting down to, uh, let's open up these two. Since they're both the same, we'll open them up at the same time. These are Toyota Celicas. 
and this one dragon wagons and just one says toselka I, I i love these toyota Celicas, actually i've seen lots of different ones uh do i have a 2018 ford mustang gt i do sorry you guys are answering i'm trying to catch up to your questions here um black mclaren in the background nice yes i'll show you that in a bit do i have a zonda there are some zondas in the background as well i'll show you those guys in a bit here let's open up these Celicas. All right, there we go. So we've got two different variations. So very different variations, so different wheels. And I don't know if, uh, I was gonna say, is this an error? Because it looks like both these wheels are the same size, but I don't think so. I think that's just how it is. Um, no problem for the shout outs, guys. Uh, there we go, so we got the Celicas. This is definitely a weird, weird looking wing on the back. And you can actually see there's speakers in the back of that one. So it's got like a whole subsystem in the background. Uh, what's my favorite car? If you're a new subscriber, my favorite car, McLaren F1 and Hot Wheels makes the McLaren F1 GTR. My favorite Hot Wheels casting. And they're coming out with a new color of it this year. So I'm super excited. Oh, this is an interesting car. This one is called a, what is it? Mid Drift and check it out. So that is one flat looking, looks like it was squashed. Wow, crazy. All right, let's, here we go. Dustin Dory, no problem for the shout out. Uh, there we go, Reynolds by the loose car in the back. There might be a Reynolds somewhere here. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we've got a couple more. Still, uh, we've got probably 10 or 15 cars more to open here. So this one is definitely one crazy looking car. What is it called called? Mid Midriff, that was what it was. But check out the squashed look on it. From the top, you can't really see how squashed it is, but from the side, the, it looks like the tires are bigger than the body. They're taller than the body. So there we go. Uh, Arda guy, do I have any cop cars? I do have some some cop cars. I'm actually, uh, I've been kind of putting together a lot of cop cars and I'm going to uh, make a video with a bunch of police cars. And I know you're, you're talking, uh, Supercar Attic, you're talking about the uh, Lamborghini Countach police. I have that in my next case coming, which is hopefully within the next week. Um, so, uh, see your rival racer. So, uh, I'm going to do a whole cop car video. Oh, there's another Celica. I forgot to open. There was three of them total. This is a nice black one. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right. Dustin Tori. Thanks for watching. No problem. Uh, thanks Ethan for the love. The Countach police car. Uh, the Countach is a pace car, not a police car. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks, Mad Wolf. I actually didn't know that. Um, you're actually right now that you mentioned that. It is a pace car. Thanks for thanks for pointing that out, guys. Appreciate it. So you guys, you guys catch me. You guys correct me. That's why I love the peak timers. You guys are an awesome community. You guys know. Uh, honestly, I never claim to know the most about Hot Wheels. You guys always ask me questions, but uh, I think a lot of you guys probably know more about Hot Wheels than even I do. I just collect a lot of them and I like showing videos of them. But uh, it's awesome to have the peak timers correct me and know the rights. Uh, so there is the Toyota Celica right there. Kind of a weird tint to it, like an orange, orange wing and the orange tint and a totally chromed out interior. Uh, how many cars do I have in all? Like I said, I've never counted all my cars. Uh, what do we have here? Let's, let's do these quickly here. Here we've got a Dodge Neon and this is a dragster Dodge Neon. So let's go ahead, we'll quickly open up this drag car Dodge Neon. And this one, I like the paint job on this one. Check it out. It's got kind of a blend of blue and white all together right there. That's very interesting. I have not seen something like that before. If you guys are just joining, we're doing a lot of unboxing of cars. And when I'm done, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of the cars in the background. So definitely stay tuned. If you guys haven't liked this video already, throw this video a like. I appreciate that. And we've got Speedy Perez next let's do speedy perez and this one is from the hot wheel sports and it says number 68 68 being obviously we know the the year of the uh first hot wheels cars um how the hot wheels is releasing the audi rs6 yes um all right let's uh what's my favorite color my favorite color is yellow 
giveaways coming up within the next uh, one to two weeks. Make sure you are subscribed or following on my social media at Peak Time Racing on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There's going to be more details uh, coming out there. I do watch Drifter D. Drifter D and I are buddies. We uh, chat back and forth. He's a great guy. I love watching his videos. I totally respect him. Um, all right. So what do you guys think of uh, Speedy Perez, the number six? We've seen lots of different color variations. I want to see these wheels more on more Hot Wheels cars. Uh, these wheels, I, I think we originally saw these wheels on the Tesla Model X. That was probably last year sometime. Or maybe it was about a year and a half ago, the, the original white Model X. And I just love these wheels. I want to see them so much. Uh, do I watch Slap Train? I don't even know what that is, so no. Uh, thanks for following me on social media, Moose. Uh, Drifter D doesn't like Hot Diecast Garage. Uh, that's uh, I don't I don't know if he doesn't like him or not. I'm going to stay out of that. Um, do you have a Dodge Viper? I do have a Dodge Viper. Um, we can maybe see some of those later on. Uh, thanks, uh, Zach. All right, let's get opening up. So we got the Integra, custom Integra 01 GSR. So I opened up a, a black one before. Here, there, here's the black one. And now we'll open up the white variation. So let's open up the white. This is from the Nightburners. Do you think Hot Wheels will cast the Porsche 919 or 919H Spider? That would be really cool if they did. Uh, I don't know if they will or not. And there we go. So we've got the GSRs in black and white. And they both say Boost Brigade. I don't even know what that means. Um, but uh, you can see they're kind of like complete opposites. Uh, you have a second channel called Army Attic. Cool. Nice, nice, Dustin. Uh, Thomas Lee, what's up? All right, let's open up the another. This is another color of the 69 Mustang. I think we've already opened up two today. I don't even know that I had three of them here, but let's go ahead and open this one up. And I've got the silver one here, and I've got this one right here. So we've got, whoa, 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 dropping cars here. There's so many cars all around me now that we've opened up, but let's get this one up. Uh, I live in Vancouver, Canada, guys. Um, I do watch High Ta Hot Diecast Garage. I watch some of his videos. Not all of them, but I do watch some of them. Um, to, to, you, you wish you could make a donation. No, no worries. No donation needed guys. Just, just watch my videos. That's more than enough. You guys are awesome. All right. Oh, here, check this one out. This is a C6 Grand Sport and this is a fire truck. That is pretty cool. That is weird. All right. Let's go ahead and open this one up. It says 05 on the bar on the top there. And this would be a, definitely a cool looking fire truck to have in real life. Uh, this is more of a, like, like a race car, patrol car, uh, like fire truck. Uh, looks like a Corvette, it is a Corvette. What's up, uh, Philippines? Zach in London, Ontario, nice. I've been there before, nice place. There we go, 05 on there. That's kind of a weird looking one though, but it says, yeah, this is, I guess, Rona K. I don't even know what that means. If you guys know what that means, let me know. Uh, what's up, Dark Vortex, Corvette guy, Dustin, how's it going? Another 69 Corvette. I got a lot of cars from 1969, oddly enough. So we've got the uh, the 69 Mustangs. We've got, an, there's another 69 Corvette. That's the one I opened before. Let's go ahead and open this one up. I've got cars, just so many cars all around me. It's hard to keep up with all of them. I will be showing the back cars. Like I said, as soon as I'm done unboxing these, um, then we will show the back cars. Uh, we probably got maybe about 10 or 12 cars left to open up and then we'll look at the cars in the back. There it is, the green, or is this, oh, I was gonna say it's green, but it's more of a gold color. Sometimes I get confused by colors just the way my lighting is because I've got bright lights on me and I look at the cars through the camera. So there we go. Uh, thank uh, Ethan, you like Corvettes. Can you, can you, can you guys tell that I like Corvettes? Like how many Corvettes have we opened up today so far? Uh, but yeah, I'm a big Corvette fan. Love Corvettes. All right, let's open up. Uh, we've got two of the Roadsters. Let's open up both of these at the same time. Get through these cars here. And I've got a stack of opened boxes of Hot Wheels beside me here, running out of space with all the cars on here. All right, so we've got the two Roadsters. So there we go, two different color variations. And this one says 2018. This one's uh, 2018 Roadster of some sort. Actually, they're both they're both 2018 cars. So these are both new 
new releases. Uh, I'm not sure the exact cases. The white is a treasure hunt. Thanks for pointing that out. Actually, you're right. There we go. I'm not a big collector of treasure hunts. Supers, if I get them, that's awesome. But I'm not a big collector of uh, treasure hunts or super treasure hunts. But yeah, you're right. It is a treasure hunt. So you can see right on there the treasure hunt logo. Um, which is the treasure hunt? It's the white one. Uh, they should make the LaFerrari. Hot Wheels stopped making the LaFerraris um, because they lost the license to Ferrari. We all know that. Uh, let, all right, let's open up, uh, get these going here. So we've got the uh, the Rook from the Checkmate series, and then we've got a 69 Camaro. Uh, this 69 Camaro, that's pretty interesting. I mean, hmm, I wonder if I should even open this, if I should collect this one. So first we'll open up the Fandango. You guys let me know, should I open up this 69 Camaro or do you think it's worth collecting? We'll open up the Fandango first, the Rook from Fandango. There we go. There is the Rook from Fandango. Very cool. And yes, Toys R Us. Uh, it's going to be hard to uh, get some cars collect or open. All right, guys, here, I'm going to take some votes on the 69 Camaro. Uh, so let's start right now. The first three so we've got we'll start uh right now so collect or open so one collect one open one collect another open next one open open so we are doing open all right guys the open win so we're opening this one 69 camaro like so this is probably a little bit more of a collectible car but you know what let's just open it i just want to open it Oh, there it is. Oh, cracked blister. Uh, I'm not, and you know what? Just to prove I'm not going to reseal or collect this. Let's rip that package apart. This is garbage. And we've got the 69 Camaro. There we go. Rest in peace, Camaro. You know what? No rest in peace for the Camaro. The Camaro is now going to be on our wall. It's going to go down the track. It's, uh, you know what? No worries about the collectability of it. We like to open up these cars and see them and play with them. Um, this is probably, like I said, the most collectible car that we've opened up today. 69 Camaros, for some reason, they people are going crazy over 69 Camaros, 68 Camaros in the Hot Wheels community. I know Hot Wheels and Chevrolet have a great relationship of cars, and everyone is just going crazy for 69 Camaros. But you know what? Whatever. Opened. There we go. Done. Uh, okay, we got another couple more cars here. We've got a CTS-V, and this one is kind of a collectible one, too. This one looks like it's from one of the, the Holiday series, but uh, I've got a black one, I think. And why did I, why did I open it? Because we got to race it down the track, guys. That's why we got to open it. All right, let's open up the Cadillac CTS V, the white CTS V. There it is, nice looking. Like I said, I got a black one of these. The white one's gonna look nice beside it. We'll have to have another Cadillac race in the future. It's a cool looking one though, right? It's nice. All right, let's throw that one aside. And next one, we've got a, another. 69 Corvette, it looks like. Yeah, 69 Corvette. So I think that's our third 69 Corvette from today. Third? I could be wrong. Could be four. No, maybe it's three. So, so there we go. Number 43 on the side. I like this one. I like the details on this one. Actually, let's grab the other ones. So this one is definitely different. So there's there's the gold one that we opened up earlier today too. But uh, check out the lights on the front of this one that we just opened up. This one, it's got these like weird, like you can actually feel the pop-up lights on there. That is crazy. That is interesting. So this is, it's way different. You know what, I'm actually, here, I'll, let's compare it with the gold one. The gold one, you can see the lines better. But check out the, the different, okay, the lights are different. Uh, the hood, uh, it's fairly similar. Uh, the back is definitely different. So you can see, look at the exposed window on the back of this one. This one's got kind of a slope for the exposed window. Different gas tank on there, different slots um, in a different area. Both 69 Corvettes, but I guess I guess this one would be the race car version. I don't know. I don't play Cash, Clash of Clans. Uh, Peak time, what is your setup? Uh, setup I'm not sure what be my setup as in uh, setup of my Hot Wheels track and stuff like that. I do have a video which you can check out on Peak Time Vlogs, which uh, gives you a studio tour. And I do have a slight update to my studio tour, which I'll show you guys uh, in the coming up video. Drift Rod, here we go. Drift Rod, this one is an extra eraser. Let's open up Drift Rod. We've got uh, about five more cars left after this. 
And then we will take a look at the back. Uh, I do not play Fortnite yet. I've been thinking of starting and playing it and playing it online. And there we go, this drift rod is crazy. Again, if you're just joining, we are unboxing a bunch of Hot Wheels cars, as well as I'm gonna show you the cars in the background as soon as we're done. We got about five more cars left. And if you haven't liked this video already, like this video, guys, come on. There's lots of you guys on here. You guys throw this video like, there we go. All right, we'll throw that one down. And we've got Track Ripper. Track Ripper is such a cool car. Remember when I first saw the, I think it was a blue Track Ripper that we saw um, at the beginning of this year, and I thought it was amazing. I think it looks so cool. So Track Ripper, it's kind of like a like a Viper. Actually really reminds me of like a Bird GTS. Very, very similar. You can, guys can hear all the boxes. My garbage can is overflowing beside me of all these boxes. And this one is so cool. I love the Track Ripper. Uh, I don't play Need for Speed. If you guys are asking uh, video games, I'm currently, uh, I'm kind of on and off playing Forza 7 and uh, Forza, Forza Horizon 3. So I'm more into the Forza ones, but uh, I'm getting into more online gaming, um, some different stuff. So I'll be playing. Um, I actually have a plan to do some online gaming and play with you guys. What's my second favorite car? Um, probably my second favorite car in real life is not a hot, uh, they actually, they don't make it in a Hot Wheels format, but, uh, my second favorite car of all time is probably the Ferrari 458, uh, Special. Uh, that's, uh, that's one that's, uh, Hot Wheels, they didn't make the 458 Special. They lost their license right when that came out, but 458 Special is probably my second favorite car of all time. Um, chargers from Fast and Furious. I do have the ice chargers, yes. Um, GTA 5. I actually have GTA 5, but I don't play it online because, in my opinion, it's not a very family friendly game. And I, I kind of want to stick to being more into the family friendly. I don't want to start playing games where people are getting killed and shot and run over. That's just not my thing. I don't support that. So I'm not playing any GTA 5 online, unfortunately. There's lots of other YouTubers that you guys can go ahead and watch, play them, but that's not really my thing. And there we go. Let's go ahead and open up this. This is a Blazer, 4x4 Blazer. Uh, how much do Hot Wheels cost in Canada? They cost, uh, if you get them at most stores, they're going to run you about $1.50 Canadian. And in US terms, that's probably about... Uh, maybe just over a dollar US, so probably a dollar ten to a dollar twenty US, and I don't know what that converts into if you're overseas. Uh, from where I am, I'm in Vancouver, Canada, though they cost me about a buck fifty here. But um, you guys probably know I buy most of my cars. I buy from the cases, and I get them from overseas, and they cost me more than uh, what the dollar fifty is in store. But this one is really cool. This blazer, I really like this blazer with the the football thing on the side. Uh, two euros in Netherlands. I know even uh, Drifter D was telling me that it cost him like a crazy amount for cars. It's like like maybe three Singapore dollars, which is quite a bit for a single Hot Wheels car. Uh, Reynolds Sport RS01, our third to last car. And then I'll show you guys what's all in the back here. And there we go. So we've got the number five on there. All right, am I close to Maine? I don't think so. I think that's on the East Coast. If I'm not mistaken, do a giveaway with a red Reynolds. Uh, I can throw the red Reynolds into the giveaway. Um, I'll just put it as a bonus car. Walmart sells them for a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, I think in Canada you might be able to get them for a dollar twenty-five at Walmart. Some, I mean, I honestly I remember when I first started collecting Hot Wheels. I used to find sales for Hot Wheels cars for forty-nine cents each. That was probably back in the mid '90s, probably before your guys' time. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, f like 49 cents for a single Hot Wheels car way back in the day was pretty crazy. All right, there we go. So the Reynolds, and we'll get the uh, Shelby 67 Shelby GT500. This is probably a collectible one too. Um, what do you guys think? Should I open, open this one or keep it in package? Open, open. First one, let's see. Don't. Come on, open, open. There we go, there we go. All right, we're opening it. So 67 Shelby GT500, probably collectible one. We are opening it. 
I wouldn't put cars here that I didn't want to open. Come on, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, honestly, I, I just put a bunch of cars here. I, I couldn't remember which ones we're opening. So you guys are seeing them all live as I open. This one definitely is different and collectible. A uh, dollar fifty UK. I think what does that work out to in US? That's probably similar to US. Uh, but this one, this one's really cool. I like how lowered it is. Thanks for joining, uh, Fregel Daddy. And all right, we're pretty close to the end here. Last car that we're opening up, the Air Eruption. And then I'll show you guys all the cars that I have in the background here. And there it is, the Air Eruption Fantasy car. I like these wheels. We're seeing these wheels a lot more. 250 euros in Croatia, that's crazy. Um, two colors of the gold car, nice. All right, there we go. What do you think of this one? This one kind of looks like an F1 car, but it kind of, it, it almost looks like a car without wings. It's pretty crazy. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to have a, a I got a drink in hand. I've got a Coca-Cola, not sponsored, but I've got a Coca-Cola. Just give me a second to have a drink here. Uh, as, play Asphalt 8. I have an Asphalt 8. All right, I've got a fresh drink. I'm gonna take the camera off right here um, and I'm gonna move it around closer. Oops, I'm dropping dropping cars here. You guys might hear some cars drop um, just because I've got, here, I'll show you what I have right here. Look at all the cars that we've opened up. Uh, I've got some of the stuff right here and I've got my, my computer here to kind of have the live stream going, but check it out, all the cars that we have here. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys um, so um, if you guys didn't know, um, I posted a video and a couple of updates about these plastic cases that I use to display my cars like that. They're on sale on Amazon right now for eight eighty eight. dollars um, If you're watching this video later, I will post that link in the description below because it's such a great price. And really look at how cool you can make your Hot Wheels display. I love it. All right, let's start from this side. So we've got the Bugattis right there. So we've got the blue one, the satin red. So satin blue, satin red. And we've got the uh, Bugatti Veyron, the Speed Machines variation, the other white mystery car, the yellow mystery car. We've got the silver one with those 10 spoke wheels. Uh, we've got another satin blue one. I, I had two of them, so I put both of them in there. We've got the faster than ever wheels. And we've got the original one with the black and red. And then we have the SVs. I posted this one on Instagram lately, both these cars. But uh, we've got the, that's the Speed Machines SV. It's a pretty collectible, a rare one. And we've got the uh, Cars of the Decades Lamborghini SV. I really hope they make another color of the SV. And you know what? I'd love to see an Aventador SV. That would be cool in a Hot Wheels format. Aventador J in blue, uh, Lamborghini Veneno. We've got the, uh, what is that? The Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo, uh, Lamborghini Reventon. We've got the, there's a police car week there. So that's the Lamborghini Gallardo Police, the Italian police. Lamborghini Aventador, that's the silver version. Sesto Elemento, Lamborghini Huracan. We've got a, looks like another black Reventon. And we've got a Countach. Then we've got a Gallardo Superleggera, the Lamborghini Diablo, and a Lamborghini Murcielago. There we go, perfect, cool. All right, we'll move up. And these are some of my favorite ones. Actually, I've got on display up here, I've got the Koenigsegg Gera R in package got one down here too somewhere so i'll show you that in a second uh these are my favorites as you guys know mclaren f1 my favorite cars of all time so there we go the uh so all the different ones so there's speed machine speed machine speed machine um that's the uh decades version nine cars of the decades 1990 that's the newest release and we're getting one more new release this year and this one yeah speed machines actually that was a speed machines one too so there's one two three Four, there we go. There's the four from the Speed Machines, um, the Cars of the Decades, and the newest released one. McLaren 720S. Uh, my daughter is at her grandparents' house right now, but uh, she likes being on camera. Uh, could I get that case that would be filled with Corvettes? You know what, I've, I've actually got more of these cases on order. I was just talking about all these different cases. Um, I've got more of them on order, and I will be making a different one with Corvettes, with Mustangs, with Vipers. I'm gonna kind of put all my favorite cars of those. The Bugatti license is over, yes. Uh, all right, so we saw the 720S right there. Then we've got the P1s. 
So a bunch of, ooh, I'm dropping some of the cards that we opened already here. So there we go. So there's the P1s, all the different color variations, seven different colors of the P1. Um, then there's the four GTs. And I'm actually missing, uh, I took a couple of them out here. I don't have the Super Treasure Hunt one here. I do have it on display in another area. And uh, we are getting another, uh, a red Ford GT, 2017 Ford GT uh, road car in the next case coming up. So we'll see another one of those coming up. Then we've got the Ford GT races and I am missing one of the Ford GT races here. There wasn't enough room, but I do have all the different Ford GTs. Um, so there are those ones are. Then we've got uh, my Ferraris. So I've kind of put all my favorite Ferraris and the Pinnacle Ferraris up here. Uh, what is my favorite car manufacturer? Um, I'm, I'm really torn between Ferrari and McLaren. They're really both my favorite uh, for car manufacturers. Um, Dodge don't make Vipers anymore. So, yeah, that's true. They don't make them. We still have Hot Wheels Vipers, though. Lots of Hot Wheels ones. Uh, Cup Till Season 2. Uh, I know there's a delay on the production of Cup, uh, Cup Till Season 2. We've actually filmed half of Season 2 already. Um, there is a delay on the release of that, but it is coming, I promise. Cup Till Season 2 will come out. It's probably going to come out in, in the summertime, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, oh, wait. Ferrari La Ferrari. Moose, what's up? Uh, we've got the Enzo. My favorite Dodge has got to be the Viper. Uh, we've got the F50 right here. And, uh, oops, uh, then we got the F40. And F40, like I said, there's so many different color variations of the F40. Um, then we've got the Ferrari 288 GTO. We've got the Ferrari 250 GTO. So nice, there you go, two GTOs right there. There we go. Um, and then we've got, uh, what was it, Maserati MC12. So the, the white one, and then we've got the Mystery Machines one, and then we've got in F12 Berlinetta in yellow. What's up, David Matthews? Um, and we go down to, we've got the Porsche 918 Spider. That's the newest variation, so that's based off of the actual stock car. It's not based off of the concept variation. So the concept one was so popular for a long time, and finally we get the actual one based off a real car. Uh, we've got the Porsche Carrera GT, very nice. The Porsche 917, that's the newest Golf release one. I love that one. How long have I been collecting Hot Wheels cars? Honestly, uh, if I were to put a number on it, probably 30 years. And I'm in my mid-30s. So I started, yeah, when I was, I don't know, I was probably between three and five years old that I started collecting Hot Wheels cars. All right, moving on. We've got the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS in the red color. We've got lots of different color variations of this car. I think it's fantastic. One of the coolest looking cars uh, from Hot Wheels for a Porsche. Uh, we've got also the 934.5, Porsche 934.5. I love this color combo. I love this blue with the white wheels. I think it looks fantastic. And I honestly, I've only recently become a fan of Porsches, uh, Porsches. Um, I don't know why I just never really liked them before, but I really appreciate them now. I'm really starting to, they're starting to grow on me. How many cars do I roughly have? It's in the thousands. Uh, it's really hard to put a number on it. Um, my birthday is in the summertime and GT3 RS. There we go. Porsche GT3 RS. And there's probably one of your guys' favorites. You guys love seeing this. Just made a video on this, sorry about the shaky camera work here. Um, so there's the Koenigsegg Azera R. And like I said, check out that video. If you haven't seen it, just posted this that one this week where I've got uh, a couple different variations. Uh, Celine S7. This is a great looking car. I just got this one recently, but this is like, I just love the Celine S7. I think it's like such a well-designed, awesome looking car. So put the Celine S7 there. Uh, then we've got the Aston Martin uh, DB10, I think it is. That's the one from James Bond. I really wish they just made this car in real life. I know they came out with the DB11, but the DB10 is awesome. The Super Treasure Hunt 934.5, I do have it up here. There it is. So there we go. There's another blue one and the Super Treasure Hunt one. Um, so uh, last one's on the bottom here. We've got the uh, uh, Pagani Wairas. Two different colors and the Wyra Roadster down at the bottom there. And you and I'll show you a couple of cars up here that I got. Uh, there's These are just some ones that I collect up here. So I've got uh, the Speed Machines Bugatti. I've got all these Bugattis here coming up. Uh, Cocktail Season 2 is coming up in the summertime. And uh, just some more 
in packaged cars that I collect. Uh, these are a bunch of speed machines that I collect. I was thinking about opening up this uh, Porsche Carrera GT, the yellow one. Uh, I've got some more of the McLarens and I've got two of the Enzos right here, which I haven't opened. I really want to open these ones up. I just, it's really going to be hard to do. I don't know. Uh, I've got the Forza set with the chase car. I know there's one car missing, but I do have it. I just haven't displayed it. And this was a really cool set that I found. Um, somebody on Facebook posted this on one of the Facebook Hot Wheels sites, and it has the Bugatti in there. So it's a three pack of cars with some sort of collector's guidebook with the Bugatti. Uh, what's up, Armin? It's a bit late. I know I'm just kind of at the tail end here. Then uh, I already already showed you guys, but the Super Treasure Hunts of the 934.5. Um, there's a couple more than 934.5s, different colors. But uh, there we go, guys. Um, I'll flip the camera here. You guys can see my my crazy crazy hair of not not, not actually doing my hair today and brushing. But uh, um, thanks a lot, everyone who joins. Um, I know a couple of you guys who just joined right now. Um, sorry you missed it, but this video will be going live um, as soon as I'm done here. Um, but uh, throw this video a like if you guys uh, like it. Again, follow me on my social media. Um, I have a lot more stuff coming on my social media, so you guys have to follow me on social media. More info on the giveaway on social media. Um, and uh, I just posted a new vlog on Peak Time Vlogs. Um, I got a Mercedes car in real life, and I did a kind of a kind of a review on it or kind of a talk about it. And I'm gonna have more videos on that uh, coming out soon. So thanks everyone who joined on today's live stream. Uh, shout outs to all you guys, uh, Supercar Attic, Exoto Diecast, Mad Wolf, Dark Vortex, uh, Real Brandon, Car Level, James, uh, Moose HD, Supercar Addict. I already said your guys' name probably a bunch of times. So uh, have a good day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.